Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a YouTube hop and it is about trick-or-treating packaging ideas. There's a group of talented ladies. I will link everybody's information and links down below in the description box. And for my ideas, I just went very simple because if it does go to a trick-or-treater, most likely they're gonna throw it away and toss it right after they get the candy out. But this could also be really great for little party favors, like if you're hosting a Halloween party, if you have children in school, it could be little goody things for the students, it could be for teachers, people in the office, your coworkers, I mean, the list goes on. But I went very simplistic for my projects. So the first thing right here is a little cauldron and I went and put some ribbon and I just fishtailed it at the bottom. I did go ahead and use my little circle punches just to give a little dimension right here in the front. This is totally optional. I used my dollar store stickers, so this cute little glittery cat. And then I think everybody has these little witch feet from Dollar Tree. Um, they are a sticker, but I left the sticker backing on. And I just glued it on the inside of the cauldron, kind of like she fell in. And then tissue paper, which you could use any color. It could be solid white. It's cheap. It's at the dollar store. I used like a Halloween stripe one and you can stick your little chocolates, candies, all sorts of stuff. And this is like a cheaper version. I've seen these cauldrons, similar cauldrons at like the dollar stores. And the particular ones I have are from Target. It came in a pack of eight um, mini cauldrons. So like I said, it could get, I mean, you could stay really cheap and give a bunch of these out. Super cute, right? And you just have your little candies in there. I mean, if somebody really likes it, they could keep the little cauldron. So that was my first little idea. And I was like, I really wanted to use these little witch feet. <laughs> Next is this one, very simple. Um, this one is kind of like you get to use your stash. I know they have these little like paper stacks. They also have them in designs and stuff, but I just used the blank ones that I had on stash um, from Hobby Lobby. You get a whole pack of them. And I got to use my stamps. So I just stamped the very corner with my creepy little Halloween spider. You could easily just line these all up, stamp, 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 and you're boom, 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 bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> and then up here, again, using some trim. And then I used my punches again, layered it up with some puffy tape. And then I used my dollar store stickers, again, on the very front of that. And while I was stamping these, I just went and got my stamp block and just stamped the um, the actual clothespin as well. These clothespins you can get from the dollar store in a giant pack and they just clip right on. And then the goodies, you know, are right on in there. Lots of little goodies fit in these little bags, you guys. And I think a clothespin is like a cheap way to close it off since you can get like a million of these in a pack at a dollar store. Super quick, super easy. And then especially if you're giving a lot of them out. And then my last one, um, I saw a tutorial from Kelly Atchison. Um, she's like a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Everybody knows you can get these little um, gusseted bags at your local dollar store, basically any dollar store, in the party section, birthday party section. And you can get them at Target, the grocery store, you name it usually for a buck. Like, I don't think I've ever paid more than a dollar for these guys. For that one, her tutorial, she used a smaller bag, so I used a bigger gusseted bag compared. So it's the same concept. Um, you just fold a piece of paper double-sided. So I have bats on one side, as you can see, and then you have like polka dot on the other side. This is like the Matilda paper pad from Tuesday morning last year or so. And you just stick some like fun crinkle paper at the bottom. It makes the gusset so that this can stand on its own. In the tutorial, it shows you how to tape it. And then at the very top, um, I have made these tags last year, little Halloween shaker tags. You can use a plain tag. You don't have to decorate it and add sequins, but I already have these made. So you just put a little tag on there. And this part, you just wanna glue to the very top. So it's like, it doesn't come off when you take your little clip off. The clip is solely there for it to keep, cause once you tuck in your plastic, and fold over your paper it's to keep the plastic from you know and all your goods getting out of the, like the back or the top or anything else and it keeps it on there really good and i just used some trim from michael's this year some gold trim to give it like a little bow yeah it's just one piece of paper like cut to the width of whatever your bag is your little candies chocolates whatever it is and that, i think that's a super cute i mean this one's the most um I think this project's my favorite, but it is a little bit more work. Uh, maybe not, just folding one piece of paper. You would just have to cut them all down and score them. This one is a bigger like gift to give versus, you could put like little gifts in here as well. 
versus the one in the tutorial. It's like a little three inch one. So but I think this, I like this. I really like the way that this one turned out and I love how it stands. And I love that they just use the cheap dollar store gusseted bags. So yeah, uh, make sure you guys jump to the next person in line for this hop. Here's my little examples, trick or treat packaging ideas. And I will be having a giveaway. It'll be some Halloween goodies. I'm, I'll probably do another video showing like what's what's given away, but I don't have like I didn't have it put together yet for the sake of this video. So the giveaway will close Saturday, October 12th, and then I'll announce the winner like the next day or so. So make sure you guys go follow, like, subscribe, all of the gals in the YouTube hop, and I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.